Even when I was a kid, I always loved the game. It, like high school soccer was amazing, and I never saw it as a job. But of course, that was ten years ago. It was a different time growing up in the system. But yeah, I mean, when I got to Johns Hopkins, it, it was demanding. Um, it was a, a culture shock, but I had learned in my high school years how to dedicate myself, and a lot of that came from my strength and conditioning coach um, because I had to commit to his program year round for several years and that that was like the start of me learning uh what it what it took to play at a high level and the habits I had to practice every day to get better whether that was seeing my strength coach or working on skills on my own um but it, it's funny you, you brought up the college experience because yesterday I just spent the whole day recruiting at Johns Hopkins and there were over 80 girls there and the girl, a lot of the girls asked me, how did you, how did you balance athletics and academics? And I said to them, I didn't, it was really hard. <laughs> um, I wasn't going to lie to them. I mean, it was really freaking hard. And I told them, I was like, look, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I cried probably every week because I was, it was stressful, but at the same time, that that cost for me of being stressed with like academics and athletics was worth it because I love my college team. I love playing for that coach. I love the program. I love the school. I still had a blast at the school. Um, so that that's another thing. I think people think they're going to go to college and everything's going to be perfect and it's the perfect program and the school's great. It's the perfect size, but no, there's always going to be some costs or some little problems wherever you go, but you just need to figure out which ones are worth it. Um, and which benefits you're willing to fight for.